DJ Mo, the very best refuse. Tell them none can contest. We gon' what's good everybody welcome to the show appreciate everybody for coming out we're gonna have a little short stream about raising canaan season three break down some of the predictions for the season finale i want to thank everybody for coming to the stream and watching on the replay i know that the grammys is on as well as other things so it's always hard when major things is happening to fight for that attention and eyeballs so i appreciate everybody that took the time to come out stop through say hey listen chat whatever as always i gotta get a little water make sure y'all stay hydrated all right so anyway we know that rays and canaan season three coming to a finale and I just wanted to talk about a couple of predictions and things that may happen that I, you know, I know a lot of people um, are wondering about Lulu. And I'm going to talk a little bit about that as well. So um I'll give you my predictions and theories. And I think it may be interesting. So let's get into it. Before I do, I'm gonna give a shout out to the people that was in here first. What's up, Miss Crafty? First in the building. That's my G. What's up, girl? How you doing? Um, Rashonda, what's up, Rashonda? Miss Crafty beat you. What's up, girl? Crystal Black is go time. That's what's up, man. I feel you. Hey, I definitely needed that go time because I was having a hard time up in here. I ain't gonna lie, I've been Boy, I'm wore out right about now. But I'm going to try to hang in there a little bit. Neek, Neek, you say this was a great season. It really was a good season. Um, this is probably my favorite of the Power Universe. I love the 90s nostalgia and everything and the way that it's kind of gritty and grimy and then it doesn't have the technology of today involved and stuff. I like it. It makes me kind of reminisce for the 90s a little bit. It makes me kind of feel old, I guess, like when, you know, my parents would look at the 60s or 70s, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> Neek say, but how can Marvin get in trouble? They have no proof. Well, it depends if Howard decides to give him some. See, that's the thing. If Howard decides, you know what, forget about Rock. Getting rid of Marvin is the best thing for everybody. And he put some evidence out there, then it's over. He in trouble. What's up, Nikki? Dan Kenny, what's good? What's good? My brother Ill Woods. How you feeling? I've been busy as can be, man, but I'm hanging in there, man. Bonnie Love, what's good with you? Demarcus Vaughn and X Flame. What's up? What's up? It's definitely the best spinoff from x flame i agree it is fire i love this 90s show uh feel and it is my favorite even though i'm even on one of the shows it's still my favorite hey i like the show what can i say can't lie right why would i lie anyway let's get right into it because we don't have much time I don't plan on doing an hour. I plan on doing 30 minutes. So let me move it on up. Will Lulu make it? So here's the deal. I know people saying, well, he going to make it because they already got him filming for the next season. What if they pull a Angie and everybody thought that she was dead, but then next thing you know, she's back only to die in the first episode. What if that's what happens with Lulu in this TV show and everybody thinks that, okay, they know that he's filming next season. He going to be okay. Well, what if he's only doing one episode? Make you go, hmm. <laughs> so that's a possibility. Lulu may still be headed to the chopping block. 
and maybe we just don't really find out the big reveal until next season similar to what's gonna happen for unique we all know his character is too good for the show and shout out to joey badass for doing an excellent job acting in this character in this role sometimes when you do such a great performance it merits keeping this character alive and i think that's what this is i believe that's what happened with rotimi aka dre in power original power he wasn't meant to be around for so many seasons but he did such a good job they decided to keep him and so i definitely think that joe joey badass is going to return next season and i think that unfortunately lulu won't last more than one maybe two episodes next season that's my prediction he's done too much he's too damaged in my opinion if he cannot stop talking when he's drunk and he can't stop thinking about what he's going through when he's sober these are major things these are major things not no regular ptsd this is him taking out somebody's mother and you know a major remorse for taking out a kid you know you got a lot of guilt you can't just say it's okay because it wasn't a good reason so i don't think he he's i think he's broken and i don't see any path for him to return because he's taken these things harder than rock and marvin now neither of them had to actually put down a kid like he has but they still don't see the same way as he do they're a little colder in their heart and you can tell he's a more sensitive person shout out to the sensitive people out there ain't nothing wrong with being sensitive especially when you're sensitive about what he's sensitive about taking people out for no reason you know i definitely think he he justified in his sensitivities with that christo black he say lou deserves to live but god dog it give his character back some goodwill i know i mean it's kind of hard though when he's taking out mama dukes and other people it's it just kind of hard to give him some unless he takes out rock then we would be like well at least he took out the evil head of the snake but you know it's kind of hard to give him some redemption uh you could just feel sorry for what he's done but i don't see how you can give him some redemption without him taking out rock and marvin maybe basically taking out rock because he if he took out marvin i don't know but if he took out rock and maybe the other you know heads of the organization pop smoke shout out to k leasy if he took out pop smoke and rock and then himself maybe but I don't know. Shout out to Demarcus Vaughn with the super chat coming through, showing love, man. Let me throw up another one for you, man. I don't get too many super chats no more. I don't know what's up with that. I guess people said to hell with showing me some some love, but it's okay. I ain't gonna complain. I appreciate it, my brother. You say I don't think so. Ronnie don't play that and live in color. <laughs> I hope Ronnie survived this season of Raising Canaan. So who you who Ronnie is, homie the clown. Well, who's Ronnie? Homie, don't play that. <laughs> uh, that's funny. In living color. What's up, B? How you doing? Uh, Crystal Black. I do believe he's gone next season. And Kanan takes the jacket he always wears to remember Luba. Ooh, okay. I didn't even think about the jacket, but that is a good point. Excuses me. I definitely do not see him making it. And I think that this is showing the end of the family unit because once he's gone, that'll just leave Rock and Marvin. And without Marvin, she basically has no organization, nobody she could trust. Plus, he does all the hands-on legwork. 
And it looks like the foundation for him to be gone is over with Howard in this investigation. And I'm going to get into that. Whereas I think they putting down the foundation for the end of these characters. And it's about to be by the season, by episode five of next season. I think we'll see Kanan really coming into his own without the rest of these people. Maybe just Rock hanging on. So Howard already put in the plan to Rock to let Marvin take one for the team. And if they get rid of Lou, then they'll be both straight. She don't want to do it. For one, she don't want to be a snitch. But also, like my girl Kay Leasy said, without Marvin, she basically has no organization. It's so obvious. She can't go around bossing no men around saying what she going to do. Come on now. So any, especially when they know it ain't no heavy hitters behind her. They know it's just her. So she's in trouble. And Howard is tired of her, too. She's threatened Howard too many times. She said that we can, you know, I could say this, I could do that, whatever the case. If she ends up missing and Marvin is in prison, that's the end of the story. Because Marvin doesn't know that Howard and Rock Got a thing going on, and it's Canaan, just like he said. Boy, you talking to your mother like that? I don't care who your father is. I take my belt off. So he still thinks that Defcon is daddy. He don't know. And that would be the perfect way for Howard to seal all this up. And Howard is a bad mother. Shut your mouth. Shout out to Gina. <laughs> he been unspent it so smooth and it would just be over he could have marvin thrown under under the bus so by the time he gets to that unit and they come sniffing around marvin is gone and you know once he locked up he ain't gonna start singing that would leave rock isolated by herself because by this point lulu gone okay so then with Rock isolated by herself all the way out in the middle of the nowhere within that house. And then she keeps meeting Howard by herself in places where he could just dump her off. And then that's it. They just found her in the car in some garage. In some little field somewhere. And that's the end of it. And next thing you know, Kanan, next thing you know. I was all on my own. I didn't realize how much I missed my moms until she was gone. Now, the other scenario, that's scenario one, where Howard taking out Rock. I still believe in scenario two that Howard may still do what he does with Marvin. But in scenario two, you already know Kanan may end up taking rock out now i know they trying to make it seem like maybe that may happen this episode he ain't gonna take her out this episode but we all know love remember whatever you want to say that quote of you ain't a real killer till you take out somebody you love well hey that love one may be my dukes you know how power he is with you know taking out a parent and although it may not happen this season, it may happen next season. We already saw he shot Howard, so it ain't like it's something beneath him, him shooting her, and he actually does have hatred and anger towards her. And then the third scenario is it still can go the same for Marvin, but I will rock. I'm going to take out Rock because she look good and I wish she had a brother that liked me. I think he kind of jealous of Rock in the sense of she's a woman and powerful and he know he couldn't get that and even if he did, he didn't want it no way. He could have been tossing up Liliana. Oi, I poppy, I poppy. Don't touch. 
He could have been tearing that little mama seat up. Anyway, <laughs> it's over. So we could easily see him take out Rock because Pop Smoke putting the pressure on him as well. Or he and Kanan put together the plan to take out Rock. And this would lead up to a great question. Birds Nation, I ain't seen you in a long time, Birds Nation. Thought you forgot about me, man. Good to see you, brother. He said, when we going to see Breeze? That's a good question. See, once Rock, Marvin, and Lulu out the equation, then we'll start seeing Kanan raise up. He going to start running into more characters. We already saw he done ran into Pop Smoke. Now he got Ronnie. Who's to say he done run into, you know, well, he in New York. So it's a fact. He going to run into a lot more people. And I think that after the, the, the next season, after all of these people are gone, is when he's going to run into these people. I think he'll deal with Breeze when he done with Ronnie. I think Ronnie may not even make it out of the next season, to be honest with you, because if Unique come back, you know he's going to get the drop on him. Or... Pop Smoke may be mad. They already, look at Urko. He got problems. Urko don't come with that money. He going to have a bunch more problems. Yeah, we the foundation. We started this. The Alpha and the Bold Maker. Rock. The Stallion. The Pony. <laughs> but, you know, I think that could happen. And, uh, you know, it's all possibilities. Miss Crafty said that would be sad. It would be sad if Kanan did that just because of the fact that they keep doing this. And it's just, it's something very rare and extreme. And yet this show presents it to the audience time and time again. And, uh, I don't know what to say about that. That's very weird and shocking, especially to happen so many times. I wonder if that's like subliminally putting some thoughts into some people's minds, young, impressionable minds. I hope nothing like that happens. I hope not. I hope I'm just tweaking. Anyway, Howard, the Hotspot Network say Howard, the most slick out of all of them when it comes to handling pressure, but he probably taking the fall in the end killed or set up by rock mm, okay all right well that's a good one because truth be told the way it's all set up and how i laid it out it looked like how it may get oh there we go Do it, ride it. So here's the thing. Maybe Howard doesn't get away. So say Howard does all of those scenarios, but this time Kanan finds out that Howard is the one that took out his moms and realizes, you know what? That was messed up. And this time he doesn't miss and he does take him out. And there were, that way, Howard doesn't get away with it. Of course, that's the scenario of Howard's the trigger man. Because if he's the trigger man, then Kanan would probably take him out. Now, if Kanan is the one that pulls the trigger, then, you know. I don't know what may happen with Howard. All right. Rose Garden said, do you think Kanan is wrong for how he treated Rock? I don't know if I could ever forgive my mom for asking me to kill my dad. Do you think he should respect her anyway? Um, That's a really good question. Really good question. I think that he does actually respect her. 
um, yeah, I don't think he has disrespected her, actually. Um, he's told the truth to her about what she's doing. He hasn't raised a hand at her or cursed her out. Um, I think he is very respectful still. He's just not going for what she wants. He's just not buying into it, but he ain't like F you or throwing his hand in her face or walking off or trying to raise his hand at her or any of that stuff. So I don't know. You all let me know. Has Kanan been disrespectful to Rock during this show? Um, considering everything, like really think about it. And I don't think so, but I could be wrong. You let me know. I think that they are on a grown level right now. You can't be trying to have him be in the kid's place and respect you, but at the same time, give him a gun and say, go shoot somebody, or you're going to teach him how to make crack. So I think once she started that, you can't talk to him like a child and, and talk about go to your room or I'm going to take off my belt. What? Was you ready to put me in my room when you was telling me go kill somebody or go make this crack? Like, what? So I think that that's where she's probably messed up at, is that as soon as them things happen, then, then trying to talk to him as if he was your child is out the window. He's now on your level. He's a young adult. You need to talk to him like that and, and address him as such. Put, trying to set him up to make him live with you and do this and that. That's where she messed up. And so I think that ever since then, even though they've had arguments and stuff, it's like grown people arguing and disagreeing, in my opinion, because that's what they own. So put a D1 if you think that Kanan has not been disrespectful and put a D2 if you think he has. I think he's been talking to her like he grown, and she been trying to talk to him like a kid, although she wanted him to be grown, do grown stuff. I think it's the problem with her. That's my opinion. I'm interested to see what y'all think. Crystal Black, you say y'all think the Italian mob is connected to Teresi yet? Uh, Teresi would be young, but he would be in New York. And, you know, or was he in Vegas yet? I don't know. But the Teresi thing, I don't think it's really. He was never a kingpin yet. Hot spot, I could see that it'd be messed up. Killed your son and dad. I know, right? Definitely. <laughs> Miss Crafty Rose is different because of what they do. <laughs> or Rose. <laughs> Rose. No, that's Rose Garden. T fam, what up, Jay? Sip some henny and give us, keep giving us plenty of good content. I appreciate it, man. And I'm glad that you actually said that because I meant to say this in the beginning and I'm starting to forget more and more. So it's almost the end of this live stream. So I want to give two shout outs, one to a person I don't know. Well, actually, I didn't know either person, really. But shout out to Apollo Creed, a.k.a. Carl Weathers. Rest in peace. Passed away this week. Iconic, legendary actor. Did a lot in his life from playing football to acting, the business, to friend, all that stuff. And seeing him in Predator and different movies, Rocky, it, it was influential as a child in my youth. And then also, rest in peace to Savannah Rivers, Rose Amore, who I never met or spoke to, but was a member of the channel. And like I got T-Fam's comment up here throughout the years of me doing YouTube. I was, Savannah Rivers, Rose Amore, say what you want about a person. I don't know. All I can say is about what I see and what I know about a person. And it was very supportive, not negative. It's a lot of people that try to say and do things and have been very negative. I've come across. I can't say that about this person and very supportive 
had a good sense of humor. And so sorry the unfortunate passing and uh rest in peace everybody here that comes i remember a lot of names that i see frequently and i feel appreciative it's a lot of things people can do you could watch a million youtube or tv shows or you could write a book you could ride a bike i don't know what the hell you could do but you can do anything you know it's america you beat some meat i don't know <laughs> You sit here and take your time to watch what I'm saying. I appreciate it because I know you could be doing a lot of other things. So, you know, that's another person that came through on the regular. I appreciate it through the years. Rest in peace. And hey, man, you got to appreciate life. You never know what may happen tomorrow. So you got to try to make the most of it. So anyway, with that being said, rest in peace. And, hey, live your best life. Say what you want. Both of those people was living their best life, uh, as far as I know. Again, I never talked to either or met them, but uh, from what I've seen, they tried to make the most of their time, of their 24 hours. So that's what I try to work on best I can. I know I don't do a good job, but. Try to make the most out of your 24 hours. That's all you can do out here, man. All right. Moving on before we get up out of here. Let me get a couple comments before I go. And uh, let's see what we got. Got about five minutes before I get up out of here. So let me see. Look through some of these comments. Which one is the best? We got, let's see. Remember, Kanan wants to stay in VA. Got a D1, D1. Uh, let's see. Ask Flame. You don't decide when I'm done. Not no more. That's right. He grown D1. Crafty say D2, but it's part and of the game. I don't know what you mean by that. So he is disrespectful, but it's part and of the game. No, nah, not really. I don't think he disrespectful. I think how he talking to her is part of the game, but she's seeing him still as a kid, which is why she upset. If it would have been anybody else, she'd have been like, all right, forget them then. Let's move on. We don't need them. We're going to put them down. Hot spot with the D1. This crazy thing is Kanan might not have handled the interrogation as well as Juke, even though she advancing, he's advancing in the streets. And that's true because he got his little feelings wrapped up into a lot of stuff so you know he might have got upset and uh said a lot of stuff uh just to try to get her in trouble and make her upset you know <laughs> damien kidney and apollo creed voice call me balboa <laughs> yeah savannah it is sorry to see you go and apollo creed never know man People get wrapped up in the wrong things. Hope is lovely. Appreciate you for coming through since 2020. I definitely appreciate it. Definitely been seeing your name and remembering your name through the years. And definitely appreciate it as well. Um, the people that come through on the regular consistently, I definitely appreciate all your support. And, hey, man, I know how life goes. Sometimes you watch stuff, come back, watch stuff whatever hey i watch all kind of stuff so it is what it is but i appreciate all the support whether it's live replay whatever the case i ain't been able to put out as much content lately i have so much stuff going on lately behind the scenes but i say in about a month or so man uh, i think everything will be much better and i'll be able to crank out some stuff so we're going to be ready for this. by the time BMF hit. I'll be in that zone, baby. Lord willing. Shout out to somebody. I ain't going to put too much of the info out, but a relatively what we thought and everybody thought was a healthy young woman uh, just recently passed that I know. Um, and she was only 42. Now, it was a time when I might have thought that was old. 
It's a time where I, if I would have heard that, I'd have been like, oh, well, she ain't that young. She's 42. 42 and having a heart attack is very young. So anybody out there that's in their 20s or teens, you think you ready to go in 10, 20 years? You might think 10, 20 years is a long time. Let me tell you something. It's not. It's not. It go by fast, man. It go by fast. So, hey, try to appreciate everything and make the most of it. Damien Kenny, you say, please review High Town. You're going to make me do some homework up in here. I've only seen maybe two episodes at best of High Town. And I'd have to watch. I'd have to binge watch the season to catch up um i mean i guess i could i've been watching well i'm done now but i watch sopranos and i am gonna re-watch the wire and i think when i re-watch the wire i'm gonna put it out there let people know and we can do like re-watch review parties if that's what people want to do um so uh y'all let me know if that's something y'all might be interested in we may re-watch the wire um but until then i don't know maybe i should watch high town y'all let me know and depending on how many people put it in i'll do it so put a h1 if you want me to watch high town and review it put a h2 if you ain't really worried about high town i know it's the final season so you know i know it's probably cracking so let me know i'll see what i can do but i know my cable gonna be cut off soon and i gotta do a few things so i might miss a few days anyway i'll look into it i'll be looking to see how many people put in the h1 and uh we'll, we'll make it happen if they if they want me to with that being said and also, everybody watching on the replay, you got to put in the H1 or H2. Just don't put an H1 in one. Anyway, I'm up out of here, y'all. Y'all have a good weekend. I'll be back. Uh, and also, man, I got a lot of plans that I've been working on, networking. And uh, I got some plans for this year, man. So I should be having guests. I'm going to do guest live guest and i'm not talking about which stream yard uh in person different things i got planned so you know i'm i'm trying to get some things together so you know i'm gonna make it work with that being said i appreciate everybody for coming through let me get up out of here i'm so whooped and tired <laughs> deuces y'all <laughs>